Today's the day. It's finally time to dye my hair again. We've gotten it to a really nice light blonde. Just in case this is your first time here, this is where we started. I had a nice yellow with some red going on. So this will be the end of our hair transformation, our newest hair transformation. But I'll link those videos below for you guys in case you want to catch up. So there's the hair transformation part one. Where we did the color remover part two where I bleached my roots and then um, I actually had my husband shave the back of my head some give me a trim so I'll also link that below that was just a fun quick five minute hangout video so yeah here we are to end this get the finished product here I think we got a really great base and as you guys can tell from the thumbnail the pink we have left is going to work just fine with today's hair so I've been thinking about this non-stop for like oh my gosh just about every day and I've been super excited to do this Cheshire cat hair. I love the Cheshire cat. I even have him tattooed on my back. It's kind of a creepy version, but. All right, so for my purples, I'm gonna be doing the Lunar Tides Orchid Purple, which I've actually swatched with you guys not long ago. I'll link that video below too. I got a whole bunch of bright colors, my newest rainbow assortment. And this was on there. So some of these have been swatched out. The only one today I haven't swatched ahead of time and I just got in the mail actually was the Lunar Tides Pastel Iris. Uh, originally I was just going to maybe use their orchid and just lighten it some. But then I saw this when I was ordering some other hair dye for Halloween. I haven't, so I haven't swatched this yet. But we're just going to kind of go with it and see what happens. Honestly, I looked up to try and get kind of some inspiration for what I was picturing in my head for this today. And I really couldn't find anything that went along with what was in my head. So this is definitely, I have no idea what the outcome is gonna be. For my hair just kinda, since I didn't do conditioner, it's not looking as loved. It's nice and clean and ready to accept color. So it might look a little drier than usual. And so then for my pinks, we're going with the Manic Panic Amplified Cotton Candy Pink. And then for my more like darker electric pink, I'm actually gonna go with that Lovesick from Danger Jones that we swatched. I do have the Hot Hot Pink from them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using the Hot Hot Pink for Manic Panic or not. Um, I'm gonna kind of go with the Danger Jones and then the Hot Hot Pink might have to make an appearance. And here's their Hot Hot Pink, which we also swatched, so. I might as well show you guys. I, I keep forgetting some of you, this might be your first time here. So let me show you what I swatched really quick. Obviously, go check out the video. You can see all the other pretty colors that we did. But so this is going to be like, so this is the Danger Jones. So it's just kind of a different pink. Our hot, hot pink, which by the way, the hot, hot pink Manic Panic, we did that on a video over five levels of hair swatches. So that one's actually its own separate video as well. And this is like the hot, hot pink. So it's definitely kind of a different contrast. They both are giving me Cheshire Cat color vibes. So I might bring in the hot, hot pink. I'm not, I'm not really sure yet on that one because it might not come out the way I want it to with this color on my ends. I love this one. And then this is our orchid, which I think is great. Also, you're not going to need to use like shampoo or conditioner after these when you rinse them out. They're kind of all their own conditioning agents. You'll double check on them, but these semi-permanents, they're all pretty good with your hair. You don't have to use anything. Sometimes I use a color sealer, but I'll let you guys know if I use my own color sealer, but uh, I might just go with just what they recommend, just the plain cold water rinse out. As are before, I'm gonna be sectioning it into, I'm gonna do like a split die split. So I'm gonna go, so four quadrants. Here's I'm gonna go just all the way down the middle, split that, and then I'm gonna, you know, separate the front and the back. And I might section this part of my head separately just because I might put plastic in between back there. I wish I had more of a plan, but at this point, I'm just gonna kinda wing it because I am overthinking it. I'm really excited to do it, so. So I'm gonna make sure that I brush out my hair very carefully since I don't have anything conditioning it, brushing the bottom up, um, just because I really wanna be able to not fight my sections. <laughs> then right after this, we're gonna be coloring what I think is gonna be just an insane colored wig. I'm so excited. It's my first human hair wig, so I haven't been able to stop talking about it. I'll probably try to find time to do a live to actually open the wig and, and uh, get the mannequin stand set up that I have. Mannequin stand set up that I have for it. I actually haven't even looked or checked the wig I ordered yet because I really wanted to do it with you guys because it's just like such an exciting time. I've never had a 
only had synthetic ones and never gotten to work on a human hair wig. So I am super pumped and I'm super pumped about the hair color that I'm doing on it because I can't do it on myself. Okay, now I do have two different kinds of gloves, but I'm purposely going to choose my clear gloves today because when I'm wiping off the color in between, I want to make sure that I'm not mixing color, you know, in between the different layers we're going to do here. So and I got my Stay Trashy shirt because that's just so appropriate for today. Okay, so here's our like before. I really hope this looks as good as I think it's going to in my head, but... At least I'm just excited for a change. <laughs> like I said, we're just going to kind of go with it. <laughs> and uh, you guys will kind of get an idea of what's going on once we get started. I'm still a little bit confused about what I'm doing myself, but here we go. Enough nervous talking. It's time to commit. It's time to do this. Let's start our Cheshire Cat inspired hair and hope it doesn't look absolutely terrible. And if it does, it's just another excuse to dye my hair immediately again. <laughs> All right, much love. Let's do this. So, uh, our sectioning, it's pretty basic. And I'm going to see you guys over in the bigger mirror because I'm going to start with the back of my hair and go from there. So I'm also treating myself to some soda. You guys treat yourself to something today too. <laughs> Cut yourself a break. Give yourself some credit. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right, enough procrastinating. Let's get to it, people. Other mirror. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start on this one back part here, but I couldn't find a good angle for you guys to be able to see me doing that one. And then I will meet you guys back here for this side and then over there for the rest of it. So let's do this. I got the purple side done. Well, at least in the back part. I'm kind of just taking my time and going section by section to just like kind of let my vision come alive. So I might be like jumping section to section, but thanks for being here every step of the way with me, guys. Okay, so here I'm just starting at the bottom, working my way up, really trying to saturate it and get those kind of thin sections in there. Just working it into the hair and all that good stuff. This was definitely a trust the process situation for me, just because all I really knew is that I wanted those colors in my hair and that I wanted it to be like split dye at the roots with the cotton candy pink and this iris purple. So yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at as far as that in the video so far. I also just really enjoyed working with the consistency of this Manic Panic. It really layered on really well. I was able to stretch it quite a long ways, as you can tell. I only have the one four ounce bottle of it. And it's it's just really, really going far, in my opinion. So that was another plus for me here. I will say this was not one of my easiest hair transformations or color schemes I've done on myself. Um, but I really, really just wanted to push myself, you know, like usual. Um, so that was why it's kind of like a trust the process type thing going on here. Am I the only one that's just obsessed with these two colors next to each other, though? It almost made me want to rethink the whole Cheshire Cat theme and just go all out cotton candy galaxy. Feeling woozy over here. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm in the zone. All right, I just realized I need to make sure I have enough for all of my roots before I go on to the next part. So I'm going to do my front roots really quick now. I'm going to do that over there for a second because I need to sit down. Okay, so now I'm just pulling that cotton candy pink through the front here, getting it all through my root area. I can tell my hair must be growing pretty fast these days because I can see some roots already coming in on that rootage area there. And we just bleached my roots. But yeah, I'm just going to pull this all the way through here before I work on the rest of my hair. I am honestly so surprised at how far this bottle of hair dye is stretching. I have been really saturating it. 
I don't know about you guys, but this is just like so satisfying to watch. I love doing my road area. I can't believe we are finally at this part of my hair. I was feeling so exhausted. I'm just in the zone. Okay, I kind of like that little trick. Like, I put plastic here, but I kind of liked putting, like, a barrier piece over. Kind of go from the top down. Alright, so same thing that we did with the pink on the other side. Just going in with my light purple. Just doing all my roots to match the back on that side. And I'm just trying to cruise through it. So what I was saying before too is I just took like a big chunk of my hair and kind of used that as like an extra protection barrier while I was doing this part. And then when I flip it all back over, then I'll go back up and do that. It's just something I'm trying. I don't know. Hopefully it works. <laughs> This Lunar Tides, I also just really love the consistency and how it went on my hair. It was pretty, pretty enjoyable experience using these brands today. Oh my gosh, I'm getting worn out. If you guys are like me out there and you have health issues and uh, it's getting rough, don't be scared to take a, a break, you know. I'm probably going to have to take a quick break. It's better to do that and just take a breath instead of rushing through if, if you can. Sometimes I can't really help it. <laughs> but I find if I do take the time to take a break, things usually go a little better. I wish I could have gotten a chance to swatch this one first. I'm trying to stay just two brush spaces throughout everything. That's kind of like my measuring guide. I've also been wiping my hands on my shirt in between coloring. It's a little helpful tip. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to just take a really quick intermission. Just need a second to think. And I'll be right back. But this is what we have so far. Just <clears throat> give me one second. All right, so we're getting somewhere now. So now what I'm doing is I'm just doing the opposite color. So where it was the cotton candy pink, the next color I'm using is the iris purple from the other side. And then I'm also going to be doing that on the other side. So I'm just kind of alternating those two colors at this point. I was also kind of just letting my hair kind of decide some of the color placement. I was trying to stay like two brush widths for each color. But as far as where some of the darker color lays, that was also kind of helping me determine where and how far down I put the purple. It's looking really cool. And so yeah, now we're back on the other side and I'm going from purple to the cotton candy pink. And I'm just gonna keep working down, same as the other side. I am just obsessed with these two colors together. I might have to come back and use these two colors together again because they are just so stunning. I'm actually going to go ahead and just get the back done really quick. And you guys can kind of see what's going on. And then we'll be back for the dark colors. All right, we are finally to the front of my hair. I had to take so many breaks. I'm really feeling the burn right now, but we're just going to push through it, guys. I really hope you guys are digging it so far. I think you can see what I'm doing here. It's just all alternating. So it's like the split dye alternating ombre. So I'm really hoping that this looks cool. I don't know. All right, and then here's the back. Oh, 
All right, so now that you guys are caught up, let's keep moving. I really want to make sure I focus on this part because I know once you get to the end, it can be just so hard not to give up. I felt like giving up quite a few times. I'm like, no, we're going to push through. Like, I've been using this shirt to wipe my hands off on. I highly recommend it. Some of these are UV reactive, so I'm really, really excited about it. I thought about symbolizing it, making it a little more simple than this on myself. But I was like, yeah, go big or go home. I just want like a whole, I kind of wanted just more going on, I guess. I'm still questioning my decisions a little bit, but I've had full support from the rest of the family and that it's going good. So I guess I just hope for that. I might have to make my own pastel pink next time. I'm really hoping that. It looks like it's going to be okay, but it looks like it might just be. A little bit too light, but we don't know until it's done. I really wanted it to be kind of pastel going to just real intense. Overdid it on the purple a little bit there. It's fine. All right, I just wanted you guys to know that throughout this entire process, I had some vision problems and I had some really bad nausea and it, it was just a rough time. So if anyone out there is watching this and you got health problems or just whatever it is you're going through, go easy on yourself. Give yourself some grace. Take your time and just try to push through it. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Gosh, I don't know about that side. This side's really rocking it. I don't know about this. Hopefully that looks cooler once I flip my hair back and forth a lot. So if I don't like one side, I can just... By the way, I'm really sorry. That's just a... Uh, I've been cleaning out my car, so in the mirror back there, it's probably not aesthetically pleasing. So my apologies, but... I'm a mom and stuff, so that's life. Oh boy, I don't know. All right guys, here we are, I'm finally done. I can't believe I'm done. Um, it's definitely interesting <laughs> to say the least. I have absolutely no idea if I like it right now or not. Yeah, what do you guys think? I tried to get like two different kind of Cheshire cats. You know, I feel like this reminds me of it, but also feel like there was one where he just had this like, just real vivid kind of pink and purple. So I just thought it would be fun to kind of mix them all together. And I was indecisive, so I thought I'd do a split dye version and do both. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit. At this point, it's all been in for quite a while. So I'm just going to keep freshening up my ends. They don't dry out. And yeah, I'm super excited. Let me just, let's get a view of the back here. Put like a little bit more pink on there. All I did was kind of grabbed what I could of this like light purple and tried to swirl it in with what I had left of the pink to make kind of a galaxy color under there. I don't know. All right, here's the back. Whew. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So, actually, I can't even believe that we're here and it's done right now. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in just a second. Here we are, it's all rinsed out. I did use my Pureology and I just used cool water and I didn't add any conditioner, any, you know, anything else, not my ion or sealer or anything. I just kept rinsing it gently until I felt like all of the hair color was rinsed out. And honestly, it felt so nice and smooth and it doesn't normally feel like that after I wash it. A little bit of Olaplex oil on the ends just to kind of seal that all in. 
So here we are. I have high hopes. I knew that these were going to be really pastel -y up here. I'm just hoping that when it dries, you know, it comes together. But uh, yeah, I really hope you guys like this. I'm still not sure. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. And then here's the back for you guys. And I have no idea what it looks like back there. We'll see. I guess you guys will be seeing. All right. I will see you guys when it's dry. I'm nervous, but hopeful. See you guys when it's dry. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. I thought we could just start off with the UV light and then move on into the actual hair color because I haven't gotten to see it in the black light. And then at the end, I'll show it in the natural light as well. But it looks like this lovesick is super duper black light UV reactive. I'm digging that. I wasn't sure if the cotton candy pink was because that's from the amplified see some glowing from there this is really pretty I and mean, it looks so much different in this other light oh wow that lovesick looks so good under the black light I'm obsessed front is just giving me like oh gosh i wish you guys could see it in this light maybe if i turn on this light it's giving me like easter vibes but yeah this, i do kind of have it up right now so let me just get the light on for you so ta-da I have it up. I'm going to take it down for you guys. I was having to run around the house, so I clipped it up. And then I just thought it looked so cute. I would leave it up for you guys. <laughs> so here we are. Here's our hair. Show you guys the back. I, I did straighten it just a little bit because I really wanted to see the different layers of color. So here we're going to take it down. I haven't even really gotten to look at it much. Oh, isn't this so pretty, you guys? I've just been drooling over this every time. Like, I kind of see my reflection or something. And I'm like, I was just obsessed with this right here. So I was really excited to get in front of the camera and check it out with you guys. But I, I really like it. And I think that these colors, I do think I could have put just a little bit more purple. Maybe a little bit higher here. But all in all, I just think it's so fun. And I, the whole goal is I wanted some Cheshire cat vibes. And I think that's what I'm getting here. I hope you guys let me know what you think. But yeah, I just wanted just kind of like different vibes on each side with the same theme. It was like this side. So yeah, I kind of maybe should have put more purple in the back here. Oh, that's cool looking. I like that. That's cool. I like how the hair clip has that going down. So, all right, ready to take it down and see. I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. Oh, that's exactly how I wanted it to. I think I need to go up with the purple, maybe just right there, just a tiny bit. Oh, I got one curly hair. Oops, it was almost perfect. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. It, it's exactly what I wanted. Oh, I love it. Let's see. Let's see what the back looks like. Let's go there. Oh, that's cool. I like this. Oh, guys, this ponytail looks so cool. Okay, I'm digging the ponytail a lot. All right, but yeah, I, I don't know about you guys, but places I would have added just a tiny bit more purple, but for me, no matter which direction I'm looking, it just kind of reminds me of him, and I could see if I like were to just Maybe give it a little bit more styling, foof it up. And these are so dreamy next to each other. I'm just like, it's just, I just am so happy. I'm so happy. It's, it's just so different too, you know? It's like a lot going on. It's just kind of funky. Like, I just love how this looks under here. All the different colors going down. It's just like cool. 
And then I love how this side's just got like its own thing. Oh. Let's get some styling. Can you imagine this with like some curls? I just, uh, it really goes with the haircut. I'm not doing bangs until October, but I think I would have really, really liked it if I had bangs with this. And you guys can kind of get the... Okay, maybe that's not a good example, but uh, I think you get the idea. <laughs> I think that would have looked really cool too, but no, I'm, I'm just so happy. Right, let's see what it would look like. I haven't tried this yet because I really wanted to keep the split for us to look at. So let's see what this would look like. Oh, look, it still does the stripies. Ah, that's so awesome. Oh, I just need the purple, a little more pronounced with the stripes here. That's so cool. Oh, and then this becomes just like its own kind of fun thing over here. Okay, let's check the other side quick. All right, what we got here? Oh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, and look, there's like some bright pink on the end of this. So it's just kind of like a cool. Oh, wow. I don't know which side's my favorite. Which side, which side is your guys' favorite? This is so fun. I'm obsessed. Can you imagine this like with some waves or curls too? But I'm glad I straightened it for the first time. For the first time. Wow, and then this just looks pretty cool. It's got so many things going on. Is this my hair? This is really my hair. It's so cool. It's so different. I think this will keep me entertained. This is lovely. I really needed just to pick me up. I was just really having a hard time lately, man. I know we all are, so. I hope that this helps you guys feel a little bright and shiny, too, because I'm just... I'm obsessed with this. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. It's just so pretty. All right, I'll look at it with the black light one more time. Oh, look. That's cool. Wow. Wow. All right, everybody, that was part three of our hair transformation. Here we are now. Here is our before, and here's now. Did I nail it? Is it saying Cheshire Cat? <laughs> All right, I don't know about you guys, but I say it was a win for me. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 to the hair colors, 10 out of 10 to how this turned out. I'm so happy. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys think. So if you're still here watching and you enjoyed this video, I hope you subscribe. Keep hanging out with the rest of us. We got lots more stuff to help get everyone through the week. But don't forget, I'm going to show you guys all this in the natural light really quick at the end of the clip. So stick around for that. If there's one thing I need to share with you guys really quick that just made my life a little bit happier and a little bit easier. For any of you guys out there that are having like hand issues, I don't know why I never thought of this before, but I've been having trouble, you know, with my nails. I can't have them long and having trouble like having to repaint them. I saw an ad for like nail tattoos and I'm like, oh, what's that? Oh, stickers that you just stick on your nails. And so I did that with a clear coat and it has been just the happiest week ever. It's just so simple and it just just makes me feel, you know, it gives me a little something. So I know it seems silly and you guys have probably heard about this and it's just me, but I just wanted to share a little thing that just gave me joy and just made me feel a little bit, a little bit better this week. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I can't wait to see what you guys all think of this. This really was fun. I'm glad that I just trusted the process. All right. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope to see you in the next video. Much love to all you guys out there. And thank you so, so much for being here. You all just inspire me every day. And this is what comes out of it. So <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Hang in there. Have a beautiful day.